Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through input buffering, guys. So basically, in our last lecture, we discussed about lexemes, right? So how they are scanned and all those things, right? So basically, internally, how they are scanned, like how they are divided. So assume that you wrote int a is equals to 10. So 100, okay? So how it is identified int as a lexeme, a as a lexeme equal to as a lexeme and 100 as a lexeme so how it is going to analyze or how it is going to identify is your question right yes so that question will be answering in this lecture guys so the lexical analyzer scans the input from left to right guys so basically it starts from i and it ends at the semicolon okay one by one on character at a time so basically it will not be reading all at once it will be reading one by one it is moving slowly guys okay so here we will be using two different pointers guys the first pointer is nothing but the begin pointer and the second pointer is nothing but the forward pointer so basically begin pointer will always point to the start of that particular exam and the forward pointer will slowly move from this exact position and move 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 till it reaches an empty space guys remember why i'm saying okay so till it reaches an empty space so once it reaches an empty space it will be considering this whole part from here to here as a single lexeme okay yes so if you take a small example int initially i and t main equal main flower brackets okay sorry circular brackets so i and t space okay better to give space guys sorry i forgot that space m a i n space open bracket close bracket okay so in this way so basically once both the pointers will be starting from i or the start point and the forward pointer will first move to n and then move to t and then move to the empty space so once it reaches the empty space it considers before till the empty till the empty space as a single lexeme guys so for simpler words you just call it lexeme guys don't call it token because this token will be a data type right yes so in that way so basically this is nothing but the lexeme so if we point moves one by one and everything okay so the process is nothing but input buffering so this process of moving the pointer and identifying the lexemes is nothing but input buffering okay so the above method has a drawback like a costly as a one by one step reading of data is done so basically here you will be reading one by one right so that is a drawback here so hence the most commonly used are nothing but a one buffer scheme and two buffer scheme so one buffer scheme is nothing but one buffer static size so basically the size is a static and the other is nothing but two buffer by using EOF. Guys, I did not find any kind of proper notes or proper concepts for these two topics. Okay. Okay. So if you found anything, please share the link in the in the comment section, guys, so I can pin and everyone can refer it. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on the on the concept of input buffering. So in the next lecture, we will be going through the specification of tokens, guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.